Hi again, I'm going to create yet another card using Elegant Bathroom release by Paper Discovery. This card is going to be a little bit naughty, but it's uh, easy to make and it's a lot of fun. This die set called uh, the Fittings die set includes lots of elements like vintage bathtub, washstand, floor scales and a fancy toilet. And this one is what I'm going to feature in this card. So first of all, I have created a card base that is about uh, three by five and a half inches, plus one gray panel that is a tiny bit smaller so that I can have a white border all around. I'm going to create uh, the background using this embossing folder from the set. So I'm placing uh, my panel right inside the folder and then I'm going to send it through the die cutting machine. This is going to create both the walls and the floor of the bathroom. You can totally use the pattern papers from the set to do the same thing, but the folder gives you much more texture. And of course, with the folder, you can create as many backgrounds as you like. Now I'm applying some liquid glue at the wrong side of the panel and by the way it's double sided so the wrong side can be any side and I'm sticking it down onto the card base. You can totally use the tape adhesive, I just ran out of it. Now I've die cut that uh, toilet uh, image out of plain white cardstock and now I'm placing the die cut back where it belongs and uh, I'm going to apply some ink through the openings. The ink that I'm using is sponge sugar distress ink. And by the way, guys, if you are sensitive about the toilet topic, please forgive me. We are on lockdown here in Ukraine. So being on lockdown, somehow you think of toilet much more than you usually do. The next step is backing up the stenciled die cut with a couple of plain ones. This is completely optional, but I simply love layering because it's easy to make. It doesn't add a lot of bulk, but it does help a lot to make your images stand out more against the background. Then I used the same die plus a tiny scrap piece of gold mirror cardstock and I've die cut just that chain part. I'm trimming down the die cut and I'm uh, sticking down the golden chain right where it belongs. That's a very simple way to add just one more a little elegant touch. Now I'm applying some liquid glue and I'm going to stick down that image onto the card base, uh, shifting it a little bit to the right. Before the glue dries, I'm going to tuck a little carpet just behind that toilet and the carpet is from another die set called the Accessories die set. And then I'm just going to use the scissors and uh, trim down everything that hangs off the edge. That toilet paper die as well as the toilet paper holder are also the part of the accessories die set. I've die cut them out of white and out of gold. And uh, it's uh, really simple to put together. You are simply feeding uh, that stick through and uh, now you're ready to attach this image onto the card. I'm using a tiny piece of washi tape uh, or you can use the regular tape to hold both pieces together. I'm attaching one small foam square at the wrong side of the die cut just to give it a little bit more dimension. I'm also applying the glue onto the metal holder and then I'm going to attach this entire thing onto the card base next to the toilet. You can see that although this card has uh, some uh, intricate details, it's super quick to put together. Now all there is left to do is to add a sentiment and I'm going to use that relax hanging sign. I've die cut it out of gold and out of white again and uh, now I'm going to attach the golden plate on top of the white base. 
then I'm going to kind of hang this sign onto the toilet. And yes, the relaxed sentiment works not only with the bath, but with the toilet as well. And this is it, guys. This is how easy it is to make this type of scene cards. I really hope this card will bring a smile on someone's face, and I also think that um, it can be used to decorate the bathroom. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe and healthy. If you are on lockdown like me, do enjoy the time spent at home. I wish you all a wonderful day. Bye-bye.